Earlier today, the New Amsterdam Mayor and Town Council held a press conference to address the flooding situation in the town. Narima Ali reports. The incessant rainfall in the town of New Amsterdam has led to flooding in several areas including Stanley Town, Smithfield, Ryman Irving, and Angleis Avenue. Earlier today, the Mayor and Town Council of New Amsterdam held a press briefing at the Town Hall to address flooding and how it is affecting the residents of New Amsterdam. The Mayor, Ms. Winifred Haywood, emphasized that the Mayor and Town Council is working assiduously with the Ministry of Public Infrastructure to remove the solid waste that block the drains and canals. But what I want to say to the citizens, it is unbecoming of them because as the Ministry of Infrastructure work on the roadways, we recognize that people would have still been throwing their garbage on the roadside. We also recognize because of this flood that is happening, we have the infrastructure helping us to clear the canals. And in the canals, we recognize there are a whole lot of garbage in bags in them. Now, this council is going to take an action because we are going to make people public example where the littering is concerned on the roadways and also in the canals. She further stated, As it relates to the interlocks, people in the town might want to say the council has not been doing its work, but then we have to start from somewhere. There are lots of people in this town who would have taken in the interlocks, and we are going to be very strong. It's either they take it or they leave it. They will have to break their fence so that when we are ready to clean, we will have a place where we can throw the waste. We know that part of the, plub, the problem in the stone where the waters would have been on the lawns maybe for four days going on to five days is because of the interlot and also because of the garbage that would have gone into the, into the canal. We're having a difficult time getting the waterway open to let the water pass. Although we're still working on it, and I trust that before the end of the day, especially the Vrime Reserving and the 50 Stanley Town area, we will be able to bring release to those persons. Miss Merlin Henry, the town clerk, also added, Now the entire town has been flooded. But there are some persons out there who have been doing work during weekends when the council is not in operation and they have blocked some of the main drainage, thus affecting the free flow of water. We are appealing to all residents out there, when you have work to do, you must consult with the council. Yes, it's high tide and we are working assiduously to bring the relief. Once again, I must apologize to all the residents of New Amsterdam who are affected. We are very sorry. There's so much that we can do, but we will make certain that at the end of this day, there will be relief to so many persons. I thank you. Councillor Campton Grant made these remarks. Now we have another problem in that some of these very people have trees that have grown over the years over the interlocks. For example, some coconut trees that are depositing their branches and other stuff and nuts into these drains. Over time, what happened? The nuts become trees. They start growing and they become trees and clog the drains further. We are asking the citizens who have coconut trees that are depositing stuff in our drains, please cut them down because these are some of the things that we intend to start doing. Enforcement must be the order. The treasurer, Ms. Carrie Ann Williams, said, Additionally, we had the Christmas spot sale, and on that event, we made $432,000. This money is yet to be slated. An agenda is yet to be slated on how to spend this money, but mainly what is the ideas that are being tossed around is for garbage. As this emergency has arisen, money, I'm sure, would be channeled towards that. The mayor and town council 
has been making several on-site visits to areas in New Amsterdam to offer assistance to the residents that are affected by the flooding. Workers are cleaning and clearing the solid waste buildup in the drains and canals to allow the excess water to flow out. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.